what's going on youtube k rob here back with another blue lock manga reading the last chapters we read were phenomenal bro like when i say phenomenal i mean peak after peak after peak bro we just got done with the last match germany versus england with the big assist to yukamiya from isagi bro my man surpassed kaiser in this game a lot went on bro a lot was going on so if y'all didn't see that last manga reading please go check it out bro Thank y'all so much for all the love and support y'all been showing me. And without further ado, let's jump right into the reading. All right, y'all, chapter 203, Overheat. Surpassing Kaiser, the final piece is Yukimiya's new attack, a dramatic victory that stunned the world. Dude, Eagle is scans, boy. <laughs> Yo, look at you, can be a bro. Hey, bro, yeah, I know he's hype, bro. He got the tears in his eyes, too, man. I'm happy for you, Kamiya. Me, personally, bro, I'm so happy for him because, like, he really put a lot on the line, bro. Bro, it was, it was either life or death for him when it came to this, bro. Like, I don't want nothing bad to happen to you, Kamiya. He is a hater, though. He is, he do be hating. Like, I'm not going to sit here and, like, cap and say he, he's not a hater. He do be hating, but you feel me? Like, he, he been going through some things, so I feel for him. Dang, look at Kaiser, bro. Oh, snap. Starting with an incredible assist from Isagi Yoichi. You, Kamiya, can use all-out goal. Yeah, brings the game to a dramatic 3-2 end. I know he's feeling it, bro. Bastard Munich wins. Hey, <laughs> Yo. Oh, uh, look at that, bro. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? Sorry. Oh, he said sorry, bro, okay. Isagi, if you weren't looking at me, I would have been done for. Earlier, I said some terrible things. Sorry about that. Nah, I needed that, Yukamiya. In order to defeat Kaiser with my play, I used you as my pawn. Everything went as planned, but at the very end, the one thing I couldn't predict was Ryo coming there. You made a shot that overcame my failure, so it's your win, Yukamiya. I shouldn't be the one apologizing. Sorry. I, you know, I really, I really love, like, the dynamics. The team, this team is actually really, really good. When it comes to the blue lockers, the blue lockers are, you feel me? They're, they're really, they're locked in, bro. It's, it's like a brotherhood when it comes down to it, bro. It, like, I feel like all that stuff that they said to each other was just the heat of, it was just all in the heat of the moment, you feel me? And it really woke up a lot inside of both of them to be honest. But how did you come up with that last play? Didn't you have the option to make the shot yourself? I did. Actually, if Kaiser hadn't gotten in the way, I definitely would have scored. But Kaiser's move to try and steal the ball was flawlessly efficient. I knew that the way I am now, I wouldn't be able to score if he tackled me. That's why I chose to assist you. It was an ace up my sleeve that only I could understand. All just to defeat Kaiser. All to prove that I am this match's top performer. Isagi, he was thinking that far ahead? <laughs> You're a real shithead. You're too clever, it's not even funny. Without a doubt, the man of the match is you, Isagi. Say what? I thought you hated goody two-shoes. Oh, shut up. <laughs> but keep being a fool chasing after your dreams, Yukimiya. Don't just be another piece who fits into my puzzle. Yeah, this is how the two of us should be. Let's keep stabbing each other till the end. Ah, oh, hey, okay, okay, W, W, W. What's with that sickening display of rivalry? No, 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 no. Oh, hell no. Passing there was a trash judgment as a striker. Defeated Kaiser my ass. That's all a bunch of lies. Bro, Ness. Ness. I need you to, to unhand my man's balls, bro. Because you got them all up in. Bro, you are holding them so tight, bro. Please let go. Please, bro. I promise you, bro. Kaiser will not love you any more or any less, bro. I promise, bro. You just ran away because you were afraid of losing, Yoichi. That's just a lame excuse to try and justify yourself, Yoichi. Loser, Yoichi. Trash, yoi shit. Come on, bro. Want me to explain it all to you again? Kaiser's boy toy? <laughs> shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut. Shut up, Ness. I'll admit it, Yoichi. In that instance, at that moment, your play was a cut above mine. It hurts. This match was yours, but you had Noah with you. Next time, let's fight it out without him. We're strikers, aren't we? Let's see how many goals we can score, Yoichi. Ow, ow. <laughs> what do you say? Wait, what? Isagi? Hey, what's wrong? He overheated. Oh, he passed out. Playing to the brink of utter exhaustion. Know your damn limits, you shitty egoist. Neo Egoist League third match. What he gained in exchange of exhausting his desperate efforts was a certain evolution. 
Sleep now, then soar high again. The journey to become the world's best continues. Oh, snap. <laughs> Yo! Alright, y'all, chapter 204, Brothers in Arms. After proving his worth against Manshine City, Isagi collapses from exhaustion. As he wakes, he finds himself. Huh? This is... Did you have a nice nap, Mr. I ran out of gas? Huh? Uh, ow! My body's so sore. Um, how? You overexerted yourself and passed out. You've been asleep for the past 10 hours. Here, what would you like to drink? Water or coffee? Oh, then... Water, thank you. So, how was it? Did you manage to defeat Kaiser? Yes. In that split second, I definitely. I see. So what's next? Go, go, go. I want to defeat Kaiser as a goal scorer. Okay, can you verbalize your thought process? Yes, I can. In the last game, I found a new way to utilize my brain and vision. I call it MetaVision. Metavision? Um, it's kind of like I constantly keep track of everyone using my peripheral vision. By doing so, I was able to read the game's overall flow, but that wasn't enough. I then realized that every player has their own egocentrism. If I can crush that, I can bring down my enemy's level of play. Furthermore, if I link my egocentrism with that of my teammates, I could create a chemical reaction. Oh, sorry, I've been rambling on endlessly. No, it's fine. Continue. I want to hear more. So in the last play in that split second, my playmaking surpassed Kaiser's. Now that I know what I lack, I can't wait to start training. I want to score goals. Next time, for sure. I see. I can see why he selected you. Huh? He? You both share the same mindset and football philosophy. He and I were teammates over 10 years ago. He was the first person I considered as my rival. An incredibly twisted football fanatic. The crazy architect who created Project Blue Lock. Ego? Wait, I was thinking that too, bro. Was Ego a player before? I was thinking that. Oh my gosh. Huh? What's your relationship with Ego? We're brothers in arms. Although, I'm now the world's number one, and he's a zombie obsessed with creating the world's number one. Noah and Ego were rivals? I see. Oh, by the way, while you were asleep, there was another auction. This time, 20 players from Blue Lock got offers from various clubs. Here are the newest Blue Lock rankings. Since some players only play one game so far, think of these rankings as only temporary. This time, PNG was the team who sat out. Corona got 24 million. Nice. Okay, Gagamaru. Yukamiya. Okay. Shigiri. Hey. Getting to play in the matches is a given. And of course, owners will bid a premium on goal scorers. But that's not all these owners are looking at. Rio, number six. A playmaker who created numerous chances and dominated the midfield. There are clubs who highly value this sort of player. Despite Blue Lock's aim to create the world's number one striker, remember this. This auction is more than just proving your worth as a striker. What's my current value? Now, here's the current top five. In fifth place, Kunigami Rinsuke. Okay. That's what's up. Boasting impressive physical prowess and dueling abilities, scoring goals regardless of appearance. Add that all together, his value nearly doubled from 24 million to 47 million. But despite all that, the player who jumped Kunigami Rensuke in the rankings and almost tripled his previous value in fourth place, Isagi Yoichi. Dang, current value 50 milli? Okay. Yo! Furthermore, the club who bid the 50 million was none other than Bastard Munich. The same value as Ness. Ooh! Ooh, I love seeing that. I love seeing that, bro. I can't stand Ness. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, I'm, I don't know about you guys. I don't know how y'all feel about Ness, but Ness is just one of those, bro. Ness is the type of person that will remind your teacher about the homework the next day, bro. Like... Like, when your teacher forgets about the homework, and that's the type that will raise their hand and be like, um, what about the homework from yesterday? You didn't collect it. Like, come on, dog. Come on, bro. Positioning, winning balls back, playmaking in every aspect of the game, the most dangerous player on the pitch. The next, Luka Modric. Ooh. Blue Lock's heart is undoubtedly Isagi Yoichi. That's how the overseas media views you. Thank you so much. Now the top three. First and third place, Shira Maguru. Current value 66 million. Valid, valid, valid. Bashira, his value is way higher than mine. While we were playing Manshine, the goal he scored against Ubers increased his value. However, his goal was overshadowed by that spectacular super goal. The one that captivated the world and it instantly shot him into A status. Yeah, Nagi, bro. It's gotta be the yeah. Second place, Nagi Shashiro. Current value 88 million. Nagi's rank higher than me? Don't get flustered. Like I said, these rankings are only temporary. And now, the current Blue Lock's number one, the tyrant who scored a hat trick in the Ubers vs. Barca match. 
Yes, bro. Yes, Baru. Yes, bro. Yes, 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 yes. I, I don't know, bro. I'm happy for him for sure, bro. That's what's up. I love, I love this. I gotta see him play, man. We gotta see him play soon. 100 mil. Holy crap. And lucky for you, he's your next opponent. Yes, yes, bro. We about to see some more peak. We about to see some more peak. That's right. Our next match is against Ubers. Start preparing, Isagi Yoichi. That's so like you, Baro. Yes, sir. Send me the game footage. I'll analyze his every move. I'm gonna devour you, Evolved King. As he sees Baro stand on top as king, Isagi's blood begins to boil. With his next challenge in sight, it's time to formulate a strategy against Ubers to further drive up his value. Boy, oh boy. Come on, y'all. Come on. Let's lock in on this one. Yes, sir. And on top of that, Baro was the one that said that he wanted to devour Isagi. This is going to be a good match. This is definitely going to be a heated match, man. All right, y'all. Chapter 205, MOTM. Okay, next question. After showing glimpses of the world-class potential in their previous matches, what waits for these newly evolved blue lock strikers is, after being awarded the MOM in the Bastard Munich vs. Manshine City match and getting an offer of 50 million yen by Bastard Munich, you are considered by many to be the eye of the storm in the new generation of footballers. So how does it feel to garner such praise and attention, Isagi Yoichi? Oh, snap. He getting that fame for real, huh? Um, yes. To be honest, I'm very thrilled. To think an average high schooler like me would be given this opportunity to showcase my skills to the world. I can honestly say that it's thanks to Blue Lock that my life has changed so much. I see. Thank you. What a nice kid. He's so easy to work with. He is totally different from Itoshi Sai. No way in hell. Regarding the offer from Bastard Munich, here are some comments that a Bastard scout gave after the match. We would like to pair him with Noah, a new type of versatile MF who is skilled in both offense and defense. Can you please tell me how you feel about these comments? Um, I'm glad that a club like Bastard Munich thinks so highly of me as a MF. However, I want to survive in this world as a striker. Even if I do act as a creative outlet in the midfield, I want to do so as a striker. I want to win by scoring goals. Call it egotistical, but this is something I will not yield to anyone. Dang! Hey, okay, talk your stuff, Isagi, yes sir. Thank you. What an honest, straightforward answer. So this is the football philosophy of a blue lock player, an egotistical mindset that aims to devour everything that he desires. Thank you for your time. This was an amazing interview. I can't wait to see what kind of player you become. Yes, thank you so much, Isagi Yoichi. What an interesting player. Hey, that was super lit, superstar. Totally super lit. What, you guys eavesdropping? Maybe, maybe. Can you blame us? Blue Lock's blowing up all over social media. You and Nagi are trending like crazy. <sighs> if you get to play, your life can change just like that. It's kind of like M1. Blue Lock sure is awesome. The M1 Grand Prix is a man's eye stand-up comedy competition for up-and-coming Japanese comedians. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Compare it to something football, bruh. Yeah, what are you, some lowly comedian? <laughs> Oh, sup, Raichi? Oh, if it isn't Mr. M.O.M. himself and his hangers on the idiot monk and shark face. What did you just call me? Shark, shark. <laughs> Must be nice. Well, see ya. Wait a minute, what's wrong with praising someone who did something freaking incredible? Stop being so goddamn stubborn, you contrarian. Ah, right, now I'm the most honest person in the world. It's written all over my face that I'm fucking frustrated. Oh, Raichi. The weakling that was on Team Z with me is now one of the most prized young footballers in the world. Just watch, Isagi. I'll drag you down and become number one. Sure, can't wait, stamina freak. Ah, shut up. I'm a goddamn sexy footballing machine. Yeah, I just remembered I got some training to do. See ya. Sure, see you in training. Namusan, I'm gonna become a superstar too. By the way, what's Yukamiya been up to? I haven't seen him today. Huh? Haven't you heard? That's it. Excellent, Yukamiya. Just hold that pose. Okay, Chris. Make it look as if you're looking down on everybody. Now, three, two, one, action. Run the world wearing these sunglasses. <laughs> hey, hey, my man's a dripped out though. Hey, wait, wait, we gotta we gotta admire the drip here, bro. Come on now. Like, let's let's look at this real quick. They out here, they out here going crazy. Alright, cut. Nice, that's a wrap. Wow, you're really something, Yukamiya, can you? Originally, they planned on only having me to be in the CM. But after watching you play, I asked them personally to cast you with me. Thank you so much. It's an honor to work with you. No, no worries. Besides, your goal is freaking awesome. Right, Mr. Producer? You bet. Having you two in the CM will help with advertisements and sales. In addition to being good, players need to be popular too. 
Not to brag, but I can work with anyone when it comes to this. But are you sure you didn't want Isagi? I mean, he was the MOM. Isagi Yoichi? Not him. I would never forgive him. That brat ruined my moment to show that I am the world's number one, not that arrogant prick Noah. Well, what's done is done, so I'm not mad at all. What a liar. He's totally holding a grudge. Bro. <laughs> Bro, he's like he living in his head rent free. <laughs> My man crushed the sunglasses and everything. Hey Yuki. See you at the next World Cup. Tell Isagi Yoichi I expect to see him there as well. Excuse me, Yukimiya-kun. Ego-san is asking for you. He says he would like to talk to you alone. Excuse me. Good, you're here, Yukimiya Kenyu. When you overwork yourself, black spots appear and your vision becomes blurry. Currently, there's no cure. Only ways to slow its progression, optic neuropathy. How long were you planning to keep this hidden from me? Yes, I'm sorry. I just didn't want anyone to feel sorry for me. I see. Well, it doesn't matter. Speak freely. This conversation isn't being recorded. I'm not that kind of vulgar trash who would stoop so low to release people's private information for public consumption. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. No, I already knew. I knew after running a background check on you when you entered Blue Lock. Since you didn't bring it up, I felt there was no need to broach the subject until now. Huh? Now, onto the matter at hand. I already sent all your medical data to the club that sent you an offer. It's to be expected. Especially when clubs offer this kind of money, it's only right to report any serious injuries or illnesses a player has. And this is what the club replied. We would like to help you with your treatment. Huh? We'll pay for the entire treatment. That's how much we value your talents. Wow. Wow. Bro. So please play for us. That's what they said. Well, it's uncertain whether your eyes will fully heal, but they're willing to do anything they can to support you. Offers like this don't come very often. Consider yourself lucky. So, are you gonna accept their offer? Can you tell them to wait while I make my final decision? I'm very thankful that a Jax made such an offer. Normally, I would accept it without any hesitation, but this offer, to be honest, I don't deserve it. I was only able to shine because Isagi threw me a bone. If I accept this offer right now, I feel like this would be as far as my ego is going to grow. That's why I would like them to wait until the Neo Egoist League is over before deciding how valuable Yukimiya Kenyu is to them. Understood. I'll let them know. But remember, there's no guarantee that this offer will still be standing for you later. I understand. I no longer ask God for a miracle. I'll change my destiny with my own hands. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, respect, respect. I mean, I don't know. How y'all feel about that? How y'all feel about that decision, bro? Y'all y'all think that's a good decision or nah? Let me know in the comments, bro. Due to research purposes, Blue Lock will take a break. Ah, football's so tiring. As the Neo Egoist League heats up even more, each player sharpens his ego to prove his worth to the world. In the midst of all that, Hiyori sits alone, tired and frazzled. What is Hiyori thinking? Oh, snap. All right, y'all, chapter 206, Expectations. The prodigy Hiyorio's childhood, the reason why he decided to enter Blue Lock, the reason he plays football, everything is about to be revealed. Ooh, this is gonna be a good one. I really wanna know about Hiyori too. My dad was a silver medalist at the All Japan Judo Championships. My mom was ranked second in Japan in the high jump. Having tasted the bitter feeling of always finishing second, my parents made it their mission to make their child a champion. That was my destiny, the minute I was born. Dang. Yo, Chan, this is today's protein intake. Make sure you eat some carbs later, okay, sweetie? Once we're done with training, we're gonna study tactics, okay? You need to understand soccer trends. Okay, for me to become number one in football, one of the most popular sports in the world, my parents put me through an intense elite training program. All right, that was a nice shot. In only a month, your accuracy has gotten so much better, yo. Yo, Chan, if you grow up to here, you can become the world's number one striker. Truth be told, I wanted to spend more time with my friends, but... Amazing, yo. You're the best. You're gonna be number one someday, yo, Chan. My parents always seemed happy to see me play, so... I continued to play football. I thought my parents loved me. And I'm telling you, his numbers aren't high enough. It's your freaking job to take care of yo's diet. Get your shit together. Oh, so everything is my fault. Maybe your training methods are the problem. What? At this rate, he's not gonna turn pro. How are you gonna take responsibility, bitch? What? Excuse me? Why the hell did I even marry you in the first place, you goddamn asshole? That's my line, you fucking witch. Don't you realize if yo turns out to be some average athlete, all our work will be for nothing? You don't have to remind me, idiot. We entrusted you to fulfill our dream. If yo can't become number one in the world, then I want a divorce. What? A divorce? Ah, uh, yo chan, yo. No. Um. Are you getting a divorce? Is it my fault that mom and dad are getting a divorce? No, bro. 
Oi, are you okay? No way, is it broken? Is it just a sprain? This is your precious leg, answer me, yo. But just in case, let's call an ambulance. I can't believe this is happening. Ah, I see. My parents aren't even looking at me. They don't care about me. All they care about is my talent. But despite all that, I continue to play football, even though my parents didn't love me. As long as I keep playing football, my family will stay together. Go, yo! Go, yo! And then one day, I'll become the world's number one striker. I wonder what my true purpose in life is. I decided to live my life according to that character description. My life. It became easier living like that. Hiyori, yo! You're remarkable. Dang, Karasu. Hmm. Oh, thanks. Um, name's Karasu. I'm a year older, but I also play for Bambi Osaka Youth. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're a genius, Yori. Born with impressive physical ability and superb ball control, combined with a high football IQ. Not to mention your left leg is erotic as hell. Ero <laughs> but in the final third, your passion in front of the goal is just average. It's as if your mind and body aren't in sync. You don't truly love football, don't you? Dang. You're right. You're amazing, Karasu-kun. I guess it's really obvious for some people. Well, I'm an analyst nut to begin with, but in your current state, you don't stand a chance against me. I see. Karasu-kun, do you like having huge expectations forced on you? Huh? All my life, my parents just forced their expectations on me. That's probably why I don't truly love football. Boring. Huh? All that crap about people's expectations, think about that later. Start with yourself. Believe in yourself. Find something that truly gets your blood pumping. If you don't start there, You'll keep running in circles, idiot. Dang. Karasu W though, W man's though for real. He's speaking facts. Believe in yourself. In what? If my parents weren't around, what do I really want to do with my life? Besides, I don't even want to play football. I don't get it. This is wonderful, Yochan. What a huge opportunity. All right, this is your chance to make the national team. Good things come to those who believe in themselves. Just stop. Disgusting. Don't heap expectations on me ever again. Dang! Oh, and that's the thing though, bro. That's the thing, and a lot of parents don't understand this, bro. When you force your expectations onto a child, they will turn out to resent you, bro. Like, it, it, it's it's common, bro. It's, it's a common thing, bro. When these parents just force these things on these kids, man. And then, then they wonder why, oh, why does my kid hate me so much? Why does, why does my kid not talk to me? Like, bro. Look at, look at yourself first. Like, look at what you're doing to your child. Good luck, yo. Don't you dare lose to those other kids, especially in spirit. We're all rooting for you, Yo-chan. Sure, finally, I can get out of here. For me, Blue Lock is a place to escape. I'll be going now. I never want to live in that house again. Hey, Hiyori, help me practice for a bit. Despite his troubled past, he keeps moving forward. Even though his reasons are different from the others, his will to fight burns bright. Okay, sure. Dang. I didn't know it was like that with Hiyori. I didn't know that, bro. I really like how this manga really goes deep into the players' backstories, bro. I really like that because, you know, there's, there's some animangas out there that just don't really give a character a backstory. And it's like, okay, it's just a character. Like, how did you get to this point? You know what I'm saying? That's what I really enjoy about Blue Lock is because, like, like someone said in the comments, everyone seems to be very, very important. You feel me? There's no character that you just... You just can't feel for it, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's always there's always a character that has some type of backstory that you're like, dang, I didn't know that. Like, you feel me? So, that's what I really enjoy about Blue Lock. All right, y'all, chapter 207, two pairs. What the? What's going on here? After showcasing their skills against Bastion Munich, what's the next challenge for Nagi and Ryo, Manshine's newest superstar duo? Why, hello there. I'm now a player worth 40 million yen. Congratulations. So, Nagi-sama, how does it feel to be valued at 88 million yen? Stop. Huh. To be honest, I still can't wrap my head around it. Besides, we lost the game. So why are you so giddy, Ryo? Oh, looks like my treasure hasn't seen it yet. Here, your super goal is already blowing up on every news and social media outlet. You're famous. Oh, that's kind of lit. <laughs> Dude, get more freaking excited. But we lost. Huh? Who cares about Isagi? What matters is that we show we can compete against the world. As your wingman, I can't wait to see you become a global superstar. There, hair's dry. Thanks. I'm thirsty. But truthfully, I can't really picture myself becoming the world's best striker. <laughs> Delicious. 
for a long time, I was playing for the sole purpose of beating Isagi. That moment I was so happy. It felt like I was in a dream. So I think it's impossible for me to quickly aim for becoming the world's number one. Well, I'm not a motivated guy to begin with. Hmm. I see. If we look at it in the terms of flow, the challenge to become number one is too difficult so anxiety is winning out. Well, it's more a lack of motivation than anxiety. <laughs> okay, then let's adjust our challenge a bit. Since becoming number one is too difficult. Ah, that's right. Didn't you tell me before that you didn't want to work if you couldn't help it? Yup, I just want to play video games. Then let's shoot for 300 million. Huh? If I remember correctly, the average lifetime earnings of a Japanese male is around 300 million. That's why we're gonna go wild in the Neo Egoist League and raise your value to 300 million yen. If we do that, we have enough money to never work again. We'll grab all the money we can get from those money-loving capitalists. Only then we'll be able to attain true freedom. This is the true pleasure of being a world-class athlete. What you think, Nagi? Going after 300 million. Sure, that seems doable. Still, it's been a while. Huh? Kind of reminds me of how we were when you first asked me to play football. I didn't think I would become this passionate about something. So thanks, Rio, for introducing me to football. Huh? Are you dying or something? I'm not dying. You got some terminal illness? I told you, I'm not dying. <laughs> that was so uncharacteristic of you that I freaked out a bit. You've matured. Huh? Don't know about that. I just said what I thought, that's all. But that means we're still not finished yet. This is just the beginning. We'll use Blue Lock to win a spot on the national team. Then we'll lead Japan to victory in the World Cup. So Nagi, just be yourself. Let's do it. Become the world's number one. Sure, let's do it. Sorry to interrupt. I admire your dedication to go over the game film, but you're stressing out your eyes, Kaiser. Here, your blue light glasses. Dang, Kaiser with the blue light glasses kind of swaggy though, hold on. Hmm, oh thanks, Ness. That's one of the things I like about you. Thanks. Hey Ness, I crushed all the guys that dared to stand in my way. Yes, I know. Clueless rookies, second-rate veterans, fading superstars. You could say the only time I'm truly happy is when I'm destroying other people's lives. But him, the player proclaimed to be Japan's newest super ace. When I first saw him play, I thought he was just another insignificant scrub. But in that last game, Isagi Yoichi definitely surpassed my expectations. Why do you think that is? Th that's because... He gave up trying to score to prove that he's stronger than you. He's delusional. From a striker's perspective, no one would say Yoichi is better than you. I know that already. Dang, he just sunned him. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie, Ness. Me personally, I would not let that slide, bro. But since you are his boy toy, you will let that slide. <laughs> You will definitely let that slide. I'm asking why Yochi still dares to defy me in absolute talent. I showed him our vast difference in strength. I know I broke him several times, but this guy, he keeps getting back up like a goddamn zombie. It's as if the more obstacles that are in his path, the more excited he gets. And then he manages to clear them by the skin of his teeth. He's absolutely twisted. That's not the thought process of a normal person. He's become a game master, disguised as a fool. But, but that doesn't change the fact that you're still stronger than him. Tell me, Ness, why did I decide to come play in Blue Lock? Huh? Well, either prove your Noel Noah's equal when you're playing alongside him, or use the Neo Egoist League auction system to win an even bigger offer, and use it to force your way out of Bastard Munich. Correct. Anyone with half a brain knows that Bastard's Noah's team. In a Noah-centric system, I'm just a secondary character. Right now, it's impossible for me to become the world's number one striker. That's why, to boost my brand, I decided to play in the Neo Egos League. And now that sacrificial fool has grown to exceed my expectations. If I can devour Yoichi, my global brand will skyrocket through the roof. You're finally big enough to eat, Yoichi. I'll kill you. I'll skin you alive. H excuse me, Kaiser's more interested in someone other than myself. Fuck you, Yoichi. As Kaiser shouts his desire and plots to destroy Isagi, a jealous nest seethes in fury. As the infighting within Bastard intensifies, who will ultimately win the power struggle? Dang, bro. All right, chapter 208, 100%. With the match against Ubers fast approaching, everyone is determined to evolve their skills. Let's see the fruits of your training, Egoist. Aura, 20 more. Woo, no more. You two are fucking insane. How are you guys? <laughs> What's the matter, Isagi? Like hell I'm losing. Isagi, up the tempo. Right. Ah. Damn it, sorry, my bad. The tempo was fine. One more, one more. Dang, W training here, bro. This training arc is going stupid. <laughs> Crap, you got me. The way you shook me off was plain nasty. All right, amazing. Isagi's crazy good. He's becoming more and more like a monster. Tch, meta vision? Yeah, using your peripheral vision, you scan and read the entire field. Hmm, 
I see. It's kind of an extension of that reflex thing you told me about, Yori. Although the major drawback is that it drains my stamina like crazy, why not try thinking reflexively? That's amazing. But that time, your movements couldn't keep up with your thought process, right? Yeah, that's why I'm trying to train my body so that it's able to keep up with my vision and playmaking. From the outside looking in, it looks like you evolved at an explosive rate. But from your perspective, you're just steadily leveling up. Every single weapon you have in your arsenal, kind of a boring evolution, isn't it? Yeah, but I think that's what growth is all about. But in that last match, Isagi, your playmaking and movements were off the charts. From the bench, it was as if you were manipulating every single player on the field. And that egocentrism, the fact that you were able to read perfectly everyone's mental state, no wonder Yuki felt as if you were a godlike game master on that last play. Control the field? Game master? Wait, that's the same feeling I had when I first went up against Ren in the second selection. On top of that, I did that in the Neo Egoist League against the world's best. I might be ascending to the next level. Awesome. But even if this training is a success and I successfully level up, the chances of winning against Kaiser is only about 50%. No, 40%. Wow, you can visualize that far ahead? Then you're fine. If you could put up that much of a fight against Kaiser, no, it's not good enough. There's no point unless my chances of winning are 100%. That last game, I was only able to play freely because I had Noah supporting me. But I won't be able to become the world's best player if I continue to do that. Even if I used the meta vision to read everyone's egocentrism and played a perfect game, for me to score a goal with 100% certainty, I'm still one piece short. All right, Namusan, you're so easy to bait, stupid. Ah, piss off. All you're doing is flopping and diving for fouls. You flopping diva baldy. <laughs> It's called a militia, not diving. Now, I've mastered the techniques to draw fouls on anyone who dares to challenge me from my right side, 100%. Why are you polishing your diving skills, dumbass? Besides, with VAR, no ref is gonna buy all your bullshit acting. It's not acting. I'm just dramatically selling the foul the minute there's contact. That's the very definition of acting, shithead. Shut up, I'm gonna become a player that can bait any ref into giving me a favorable call. I'll even become so good, I'll outsmart VAR. Ugh. Ah. This is my evolution. Cut it out. That's not gonna help me with my practice. All hell militia. Shut up. Cunning militia is awesome. God damn it, just shut up. <laughs> so idiotic. No. That's it. Huh? Crap. With this, it's perfect. Goal. With this winning formula, I can destroy Kaiser. A hundred percent. Huh? What are you? Thanks, Igaguri. You're the best. Huh? Huh? What? Oh no. That bastard, he's gonna try to steal my militia techniques, isn't he? Definitely not, idiot. Hmm? Did Isagi leave? Yeah, he thought of some wild idea and took off. Seriously, that guy. Is he gonna evolve even further? That freaking soccer idiot. Probably. I'm a bit envious. I also wanna love football the way he does. Oh man, oh man, I can definitely win with this. But for me to master this before the next match, it's impossible if I tackle this alone. The player who can help me utilize the new piece I just found, it's him, Kunigami, bro. Yeah, yeah, I had a feeling, bro. I had a feeling. Yo, Muscle Freak, I need your help. What's the missing piece he stumbled upon? How does asking Kunigami for advice help Isagi figure out his 100% golden formula? Oh, oh. <laughs> Here we go. Well, there y'all have it, y'all. Those were cool little chill chapters, you feel me? We got to see Hiyori's backstory, which was pretty cool. Sad, but you know, we got a better understanding of Hiyori's character. Ness still a hater. Kaiser's trying to figure out how in the world to one-up Isagi, while Isagi's trying to figure out how to one-up Kaiser. So it's like, they're both on the same wavelength when it comes to thinking. Next chapters are gonna be Bastard vs. Ubers. I'm very hyped to see that. I'm very hyped to see Baro and everyone else. So thank y'all so much for watching. I highly appreciate every single one of y'all. They motivated stay cheerful and stay blessed y'all love y'all so much i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace